Now, police say a driver who killed a man on 82nd Avenue tried to mow down another just seconds later. So that man is talking only with Coin6 tonight, saying he yelled at the driver, then that driver came after him. He spoke to our Brandon Thompson, who's live at the crash scene tonight. So, Brandon, tell us about what happened. Todd Henderson tells me he's lucky to be alive. He watched as the pickup truck hit that man, drug him across the street, coming to a stop here. The driver then turned around and tried to run over Henderson himself. A warning, Henderson's description of that night is disturbing. I can't believe I'm alive. I'm shocked, utterly shocked that I'm standing here right now. Todd Henderson stands over the spot where a truck nearly ran him down Monday night. He knew something was off from the moment he saw the truck pulling out of the Eastport Shopping Center. Before I cross in any sort of intersection, I always look all over. And I saw him coming at a, at a good rate of speed here in the pickup truck. Todd got out of the intersection and looked back. He went under the wheels and he dragged him across the street and he was screaming and sparks were flying because he had a basket with him. Shocked at what he saw, Henderson yelled at the driver that he killed someone. So once I yelled at him that he had killed him, that's when I saw the wheel spin again, and I was right here, and he was coming right at me. I would say I was right here, and he was halfway across that intersection, and I got out of the way as quickly as possible. I ran the, the opposite direction. Again, the berm saved my life because he hit that berm and stopped at that point. Frederick Moore is who police arrested. He's charged with four crimes, including murder for running over the man and attempted murder for trying to run down Henderson. I regretted saying anything. I think looking back at it now, I should not have said anything. It was just so powerful that he had just murdered somebody. And I, this poor man, just in the wrong place at the wrong time. How did you process it? I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say. It was so devastating. It was, I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen a man die in such a way, in such a painful, awful way. Henderson says he's been biking up and down 82nd for years since giving up his car. He says that berm, as well as staying aware of what is around him, helped save his life that night. He hopes other people walking the streets stay cognizant of what's around them. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News. Yeah, that's good advice. Okay, thank you, Brandon.